Did you ever wonder where the phrase giving the bird came from? Well, what happened was many, many years ago, I was driving a bus for a local ARC in New York State. That's the agency that provides services for individuals with developmental disabilities. So I, I was driving my crew into work one day, and as I was driving, a bird flew in front of the bus, but it got caught up in the draft of wind that, you know, follows along the frame of the bus as you move, and it went up over my cab, but the above the cab, the box area of the bus extended. So he came up over and went, Badoof! and hit right against the cab, or the, the box area. Well, as I went, I, I looked in my mirror to see if I could see what happened, and it didn't kill him. He was in the road, and he was like, he did like one of these, like, what the hell was that? And then he showed me where giving somebody the bird comes from. <laughs> now I get it. Now you get it as well. Now we get to watch a family guy try not to laugh. <clears throat> Lois, get in here. Meg's boyfriend. But there's, there's nothing wrong with him. Yeah, I was going to oh, say. There's my... <gasps> <gasps> Chris is just the best. <laughs> Quagmire, get over here. You gotta see this. Now over by the dock. I, <clears throat> I've grown to, I've always liked Chris's character, but doing these has made me grow to appreciate Chris more and more. I've been bored. Now on the other side of the pool. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Now I want you to meet me at this address in an hour, and we'll slap five there. Then afterwards, we'll hit the bars. That sounds good to me. You should try. Wait, will you hit the bars or will you slap the bars? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it, 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 I mean, the, the question needed to be asked. The, the phrasing was off there a little is all I'm saying, Cleveland. I have video dating service, Peter. That's how Muriel and I met. Let me show <clears> you more <throat> tape. He was so charming. Oh, boy. I bet you this is going to be a little less than charming. Ah, oh, my eyes. Could you please turn down that very bright light? It's burning my redness. Oh, ladies, I'm a very <laughs> desperate man. <laughs> it's funny how you see certain characters getting, you know, getting canceled, basically. Shows can't do certain characters anymore because they portray somebody in what is viewed as a poor light or... or too stereotypical and but more and the Jews just take a beat every day and everybody's like, no, that's cool. <laughs> he seems to be completely normal. Oh. We are gonna raise more hell than Hellraiser. That doesn't seem right. I, I'm with everybody that went, Oh, oh boy. Hey honey, mm. you want some salt for your steak? Yeah, sure. No way. He loosened the yeah, top. Yeah, ah! gotcha. that's more <laughs> salt than you wanted. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> that's why he's Hellraiser, <laughs> and he he earned uh, that title. Who going? Goo goo, ga ga goo, gee gee goo, go go go. Keep saying hmm. baby words, Peter. You're onto something. We're close. We're circling it. Goo goo gaga, oo oogle, oo e oo ah. Moments later, we'd found ching, a business ching. idea destined bing, bing. to change the tech world forever. <laughs> Wait a second. Did Peter and did Peter finally come up? With Google, is that what they were referring? Oh, uh, we're gonna have. Wow, he doesn't need to do this crappy TV show anymore. <laughs> have a swell time tonight, <laughs> Lois. Glenn, thank you for being such a good friend and looking after me like uh -huh. this. <laughs> no problem. It's kind of chilly out, so I brought you a jacket. Oh, no thanks. I'll be fine. Please. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's it's always nice when there's a prize at the end of the sleeve. <clears throat> oh, oh, they're still. I like that one. That's good. <laughs> oh, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> and then the return slap too. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Lois? Hey, Lois, honey. Sweetheart? Oh, you're awake. Hey, oh. can you hear me to pretzels? Here. Yeah. Go. Uh, you know, he, he tried to do it 
more gently, but you got to do what you got to do. Google, a search engine for all the info on the Google dolls. People are always going to need information about on the them. Google dolls. Yes. Google. Google. Oh, man. I remember when that on came out. Way, we rented office space and watching it gave us the idea to rent office space. Uh, hey, why don't you uh, <laughs> I see what they did there. Well played. Go back to sleep. I'll wake you up when we get there. <clears throat> okay. Oh, Jughead. Along with my um, superhero comics, I did used to read Archie. Yes, I know that makes me entirely lame, but I'm, I can only be honest with you guys. Yeah, I've logged a lot of game hours. That and menstrual that Ms. might Pac be Man. bad. What? What? Jeez. Nothing, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, too. Jeez, nothing. <laughs> I never got into the Pac-Man games. If uh, I knew Miss Pac-Man was all menstrual like that, I, I would have, though, because it would have been fun to antagonize her. <clears throat> uh, clearly, we hadn't discussed the uh, tone of our work environment. I should say we haven't. I thought this was to be a place of business. We got over our initial differences and then spent the rest of the day doing what everybody did in the 90s. Oh, I'm just trying to think of what everybody did in the 90s. I'm probably not going to come up with what they're going to do. <laughs> look at all those hamburgers. They look you delicious. You can't eat all those hamburgers, you stupid fella. Oh, jeez. Magazine. Yeah, are the comics going to write oh, He's going to do it. <laughs> oh, he's so ridiculous. I'll find him. <laughs> well, well, you kind of, I, I get what Peter's thinking there. It didn't kill him the first time. <laughs> so there's no reason to believe it's going to this time. Way, Meg, I forgot to tell you, your grandfather needs you to pick him up at the airport. Oh, Grandpa always makes me so nervous <clears throat> when I'm driving. Okay, now me. <laughs> oh, that's a stop sign. Debating what? <laughs> it's, it's you know it's time well spent with a grandparent <laughs> carter seems fun what was better forrest gump or pulp fiction forrest gump is ridiculous mm. one guy does what he's told all the time and makes millions but a girl goes off tries to be different gets aids and dies i find your argument shallow and pedantic you hear me that's a pretty solid breakdown there of forrest to be honest with you you ridiculous man. You're... Whoa! Peter, what the hell is wrong with you? I fall asleep for ten minutes and you plow the car into a tree? Death, that was... Jughead was going to eat all the hamburgers. Don't be a bitch, Lois. Totally worth it. It was even better than the time I stumbled into that fat, lonely women's club. Uh, excuse me, could I get directions to the Providence Civic Center? <laughs> Hey, Jeff. See, it seems like a fun place. I'd be all right in there. Jefferson, check it out. Chick getting nailed on my head. Sweet. Hey, Teddy, pass the word down to Frankenstein. Oh, ha, ha. You hear that? Oh, ha, ha. At Brian, a laser rock show. Come on, cheer up, would you? I don't much feel like it. Binary code is the language of computers in which words oh, are translated into okay. sequences of zeros and ones. Yes. Anything at all can be expressed in binary, as we demonstrate in this famous scene from The Miracle Worker. Oh my god, you got... So, oh, is Helen just gonna say in, <laughs> in a strained voice, zero, zero, one, 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 zero. Gotta pay attention I, to the room. I assume we that's what's, what's coming. the front of our car, it's totaled. It's completely totaled. <laughs> oh, this is just perfect. How are we gonna get, oh my god. I knew I should have <laughs> I cannot trust you. That, that's that's absolutely the right thing to do. Read the comic, Peter. She's just gonna go on and on about this and not be able to drop it. <laughs> do you like cake? Yes. Yep. Do you like my ass? Yep. Yes. Do you wanna eat cake off my ass? Yes. What kind of cake? Angel food cake. Well, Rusty, looks like we're gonna eat our way out of another jam. Yes, we are. 
Yes, we are. Okay, here we go. One one zero one zero zero one. Mm -hmm. Zero one one zero one zero zero one. Zero one zero one zero zero one. Zero one zero one zero zero one. That's awful. <laughs> zero one zero one. <laughs> well, at least they're happy. <laughs> Hi. Stand perfectly still. Oh. Boys. Their vision is based on movement. <clears throat> Where'd you go? Peter knows a thing or two. And now, back to Two and a Half Men. <laughs> All right, that's good. Come on, that's... <laughs> I would watch that show. I never watched the original Two and a Half Men. This, I think I would watch. Help me! Doesn't seem like there'd be... A lot of room for plot beyond episode one, but still, I'd give it a chance. I guess we're just going to have to learn to control our jealousy. Together. Together. Ma'am, you dropped your napkin. Here's your drink, sir. Yeah, we'll work on it later. Yeah, it's, it's always time to work on it. Let's <laughs> see, you guys are doing fine. <gasps> Peter, what the hell are you doing here? Lois, can I talk to you privately? What is it? Explosions at a wedding always, yeah, it's, it seems like it would make for a big day. Peter. Before you marry Tom, what's the Excuse Mortal me. Kombat blood code? I keep forgetting. It's A-B-A-C-A-B-B. -B -B. Oh, hello, I'm... Come on, Peter, we all know that. Jeez. Stu hello, I'm Karina. <clears throat> Can we get some quiet on the set? I'm trying to rehearse. Quiet on the set. Don't mind Randall. He's getting into character. Is he playing a dick? <laughs> <laughs> That, that was a very fair and reasonable question. <laughs> is he playing a dick? Because if he is, he's 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 in the character. He's got it nailed. <laughs> My head. Ooh. Wear it now. Hey, uh, uh, you two better settle down. Chris, give Meg her hat. I don't have to listen to you. You're a dog. You don't have a soul. Clean. Wait a second, I'm a ginger. I don't have one either. Don't be casting dispersions, Chris. It's a pretty good life, actually. Glenn picked us up in a white Bronco. Why did you have a white Bronco, Daddy? I was driving my innocent friend OJ and his ex-wife's head down to Mexico. <laughs> oh, and his ex-wife's head. <laughs> Al Collings. You rascal, you you didn't even mention the ex-wife's head. 